I gotta show this video, Hawthorne. This is good <laughs> stuff. Why did I volunteer to be on the track? Why did I volunteer to be on the track? Figured out that young people. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All right, welcome everybody to our new weekly show, uh, highlighting the Badger State Trucker and Tractor Pullers. So I'm gonna be one of your gracious hosts every Monday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. One of our great announcers with Badger State is gonna be with us as well, as well as the president of the Badger State Tractor Pullers, Greg Elsie. John's doing some stuff with Kristen tonight, bringing her home from UW Health. He had uh, emailed me earlier today and Greg is very you know busy with harvest. He's a big custom farmer and um, so that's why it's just me tonight. But I have the promoter, uh, Mark Hawthorne, of the Green County Fall Nationals Truck and Tractor Pull this Saturday, September 24th. And if you live in Wisconsin, um, even I would say the Midwest, the Green County Fall Nationals, is um, it means something to, to people. I think every, Mark, I think, and for all those of you watching, I think every polling association needs that signature event at the end of the year that has a little bit of clout, that has a good facility, that um, where points races are uh, are decided, you know what I mean? Like for the NTPA, it was Sandwich, Illinois. For PPL, it's Wheatland, Missouri. You know, for the Outlaws last weekend, it was Spencer, Iowa. A lot of um, associations have that. And Monroe and the Green County Fall Nationals have really cemented that 
uh, Mark, with multiple uh, polls of the year from the Badger State Tractor Pullers, as well as the local community. But what's really, really impressive is the amount of money and families that a truck and tractor pull has um, affected Mark. So Mark, welcome to Down and Dirty with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. Thank you for taking time. I know what it's like to promote a poll. I know how busy you are this week, but thank you for taking some time out of your schedule to talk about the big Green County Fall Nationals this Saturday. Thanks for having us. Well, we're happy to be here. Um, it is, I can't believe it's the end of the polling season already. I mean, you're in the polling tire business and your, your season never really stops. But for the Badger State season, I feel like it just started a couple weeks ago and all of a sudden now we just had Viroqua and holy cow, we're heading into Monroe this Saturday at noon and we're going to be deciding points championships and giving away a lot of money. Um, Mark, most polls start at, you know, five or six, seven o'clock at night and, uh, you know, that's it. But Monroe starts at noon and it's a full fun day of truck and tractor pulling and fundraising. Can you kind of go into the your vision of this event and Kind of what you let's let's start back like what's the history of the green county fall nationals i mean everybody knows the history of you and your dad and you guys have more trophies than i have blood vessels um but um, i've seen the trophy room but what is like kind of what you know what inspired you and your team and the family to come up with the green county fall nationals well the first year was you know, 16 years ago um they had uh, farm progress days over in albany and a bunch of local us local pullers in monroe green county decided to why don't we have a pull? It's only 11 miles away. Make some, give them something to do on Wednesday night and, you know, let's have a pull. Well, we didn't really think about the second year, but um, it was, uh, I think we had 3,500 people there the first, the first year and, and a Wednesday night. And the announcer says, said something after the poll about, you know, Hey, what about a second annual? And the whole crowd just got up and cheered. Like, ah, we got to do this again now. And then, you know, we had a profit and, it's like, well, what do you do with the money? You know, we didn't plan on making anything. And so then we worked into the second year, the second year. Then it's like, you know what? Let's let's have this pull and let's give the money back to families in need. So that's our mission is to help families with hardship. We've uh, we've uh, started to help start organizations in Greene County for autism and uh, suicide prevention and, and a lot of stuff like that. So it's we're. Uh, over these years, we we're, we're easy over five hundred thousand dollars of giving back to, to you know this kind of stuff. Well, that's and that's always been my biggest takeaway, Mark, when I've attended your event and pulled at your event in the past. The amount of groups, the amount of volunteers, and then you guys do an amazing job with your social media on letting people know who's sponsoring, where the money's going, and then the heart wrenching, tear jerking stories of when you guys donate the money to the families and the things you do over the years and when truck and tractor pulling can affect people's lives like that mark that's when i get excited just because it's it's something unique um and then these people are going to remember truck and tractor pulling badger state tractor pullers monroe green county fall nationals for the rest of their life how that impacted their life you know what i mean they may not even you know a lot of the people mark that uh the families you're helping they may not have been to a truck and tractor pull before or maybe one or two or they go to one a year but to see that you know we know how big the hearts of pullers are we see it every year at the banquet with Absolutely. American Family Children's Hospital pull and different things like that as well. Um, it's just neat to it's neat to see you guys rally around that and truly make it. This is for our local, you know, it's not just Green County anymore. I know it's spreading around Northern Illinois, East, West, all of you, because there are people in need. But such a such a such unique event. And it, I think this is your sister that says pulling for the community, right? Heidi Hawthorne. Yeah, that's our, and that's what's on our shirts that we'll have down there that day. And that's that goes with our logo. You bet. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, let's talk about this week, Mark. Uh, Saturday starts at noon. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to bring the, I'm going to bring your website back up on the screen. And if you're watching and you've, if you've been to the Green County Fall National before, please type in the comments what you appreciate about it, what you look forward to, what some of your favorite memories from the Green County Fall National. So we can put those up on the screen for Mark and everybody watching. So Mark, showtime noon. Um, do you have the classes there in front of you? We do. Um, actually, got much every single Badger State class except for the 2.6 diesel truck class. But uh, you know, we got. Uh, I got to get my glasses out to read that. But we got Pro Farm and the Pro Stock diesel trucks, light limited super stocks, two wheel drive mod trucks, um, 540 light pros, Pro Stocks, which sounds like it's going to be a really good class of Pro Stocks, uh, 466 Hot Farm, 4.1 limited pros, and that rounds out nine classes. 
you know, over the years, Mark, it's always been kind of fun. Like what national competitors are going to come show up and pull it in the Green County Fall Nationals? I feel like the unlimited super stock class and the um, and the, the pro stock class, we've seen some, you know, some big grand national or champions tours competitors. Hey, my point season's done. I'm going to head up to Monroe. And obviously a lot of these guys are, and gals are your customers too, Mark. So that doesn't, that doesn't hurt, but we've seen some big name, big name pullers there in the past. And it's been, yeah. that really adds, that right. really adds to the great Badger State show. So yeah, there's always a few surprises. Like we didn't even know they're coming. It's like, Hey, cool. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yep. No, it's super, super good. And then, um, we we'll always the band afterwards and stuff like that. So Cherry Pie is your band this year. That'll start right at um, right at the thing, right? Yeah, that'll be at eight o'clock, no matter what. So okay. normally we try to pull till seven. Last year we got done at six twenty, which is fine. Um, yeah. And band plays at eight, no matter what. So yeah, people are not going to have a hard time finding something to do between six twenty and eight. Mark, <laughs> it's going to work out okay. So no, no, they won't. It's going to be, um, do you have a class order yet? Somebody's asking Mark. Oh, I did have, um, if I'm going to, I'm going to wing this now it is on our website. Okay. Then I'll get it right now. What's what tab is it under Mark? Uh, be on the homepage. Okay. I'm on the homepage right now. I'm scrolling down. Okay. Class lineup running order there. Right there it is folks. I can't zoom in on it, but I'll read it up. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to throw it in the comments and then I will post it on the page. At least my sister Heidi told me it was there, so it better be. It, it is. It is. <laughs> so we're gonna go fight 540 light pros will be class number one, followed by the 36 pro stock diesel trucks. The 4.1 limited pros will be class three, two-wheel drive truck, two-wheel drive mod trucks, followed by the 466 hot farms, light limited super stocks, pro stock tractors, super farms, and the last class today will be the 640 pro farm. So now that can change, guys based upon weather and different things like that don't don't pin mark to the cross on this but they do like the i i it's kind of neat knowing ahead of time when you probably could pull most of us find out about an hour or two before the poll uh, it's nice that you do post this out there uh, for all the fans and different things like that as well mark maybe somebody might have something going on at noon and they can't get there till two they still want to see pro stocks uh, I, th I think this is well played on your part as uh, not a lot of events are going on this weekend and you have a chance to bring in again fans from all over the Midwest that are willing to drive to Monroe and check it out. So, yeah. And we, you know, it, like I said, if that's a temporary list, if everything works out, we'll go with that. But we do have a couple classes that are in the points race and we want to try to run them as we think that the track is going to be more consistent. And we kind of plan and put different classes ahead of those so they can groom the track for them. So there's a little science that goes in there, but Greg okayed it. So, you know what, we're, we're going to run with it. I like it. KP Moore says this poll is one of the very best in the Midwest, a must see as the season ends. And I would agree with that. Again, if you're just joining us this noon, this Saturday at noon, Monroe, Wisconsin, Green County Fall Nationals, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Badger State classes. Um, again, the polling order is posted up there in the comments like that. Colin uh, Burkholt says, always love being first class every year so we can sit back and watch. <laughs> Sounds good, Colin. I like that. I like that. Mark, what are some of your favorite charitable memories? And I don't want to get you all teary eyed, but what are some of your like, wow, when I've been working a hundred million hours on this event, you think back to a couple of these things and how you, how your event has affected people's lives. What are some of those top memories that you have? First thing, every single one of them. <laughs> um, there's a reason I can't go and do a benefit. <laughs> it just don't work. Um, We've done so many things um, and just to see the reaction from the receivers is uh, it's amazing. And I, I, I think it'll put a tear in anybody's face, but uh, the, then you have your hard ones, you know, you, we've had three year olds, four year olds, five year olds. That sucks. Yep. And I'm every puller fan there that this Saturday, you come a dollar and a burger or a beer, or you spend 20 bucks at the gate or whatever you did. Just know that each one of those dollars, it's helping one of those people out. And if they've ever had to go do a benefit and give to a family, um, oh, I tell you what, it's tough. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And again, I'm not trying to get y'all teary eyed, Hawthorne, but I'm just, I know it's, I know it's a big part of what you do. So, yeah. No, I mean, we've done, we started an autism uh, program in Monroe with the, one of the um, sheriffs. Um, 
we donated the tracking bracelets and equipment to all the police cars. It was, um, so if, if one goes missing, that'll track right to the police car and they, um, they can go find them. Uh, so we did that. And the first two years we gave like 23,000 pounds of food to the food pantries. Um, so that was another big one. That's what started our giving and one of our first ones that we've done. Um, you know, been actually had a cool one last year. If you want to talk about a cool one, this is this is the top of my list here. We were up at the banquet last year, and our and our group that goes with us with a pulling tractor uh, sitting there at the table that night, and had the of course the children's hospital thing going. And I looked over to my sister, which is a big part of this, and works for American Family, and we had three uh, we had three families in Green County that was using the children's hospital at that time. And I looked over to my sister and I said, five, five grand. And she said, double dare ya. So we went out, presented a check for $10,000 on top of what we raised that night at the Badger State Banquet and uh, put that on top of what we what we uh, donated to them from Badger State. So that's that's pretty cool. And we just sit there and go, you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> yep. No, it's great. Again, if you're just joining us, Down and Dirty with the Badger State Tractor Pullers, our new weekly show on Monday nights. Highlighting, previewing, reviewing uh, Badger State events. Of course, end of the season is here. I can't believe it, but uh, the end of the season has a big bookmark with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. Mark Hawthorne, the promoter of the Greene County Fall Nationals, joining us live, talking about the event, talking about all the great things that they do for the local community and different things like that. Mark, how many how many people that have been have been with you all 16, year, 16 years are still helping with the event today? Well, I'm going to say there's... There's probably just a handful of us, but I can say about the other 14 years, uh, darn near every single one. Yep. No, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a commitment, but it's a big, big commitment. So. Yeah. Good help. I mean, like I said, they know what they're doing. Um, uh, and you need that clockwork. You don't, you don't want to change people every year. No. Training more, you know? Yep. Um, from a pullers, fuller pullers perspective, Mark, what are some of your, like, like the points races are tight in some of the classes and we, and we're not, we don't have time to review all of that tonight. Like I had hoped, but what are some of your past uh, memories of uh Holy cow, like this race came down to this and the you know, points race. And I know some of them affected you and your dad too, at the little green giant oh, yeah. here. So, yeah, we had one with the, uh, with the fry boys with agent orange uh, came down. We actually had a discussion of how we were going to do that because Badger States, we got our rule book and, you know, your tiebreaker and all that. And, there was a chance of it tying. So Dennis come up and says, what if we tie? What do you want to do? You want to take the tiebreaker? Well, we actually had to go to like to the third tiebreaker. <laughs> like both at the same time. We ain't having no tiebreaker. We're pulling this off at the last, at the end of the night. Winner takes all of it. It didn't work out like that. And I think we did beat those guys that year. So, you know, I'm glad we didn't have that pull off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been at some of these, at some of them where they're going back and, Goes back to how many wins you've had, you ties, and then, yeah. then I've had them go back into seconds and thirds if everybody had a couple wins too. So that last so, year, Meyer did it. He had whatever points lead, and they just kept going by him. And by God, he snuck it out. But he was first in the class or something like that. And he had to keep watching that. And like he ended up getting it, but boy, that's 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 tough. Oh yeah, I mean, especially if you get a big class of them too, and then sometimes you get like. Maybe you're, the tractor that's in second or third or the truck that's in second or third might be down 14 places because a bunch of different competitors came to this yeah. event because a lot of people want to come to Monroe. I've seen that happen as well. And you can be on the good side of that or the bad side of that. Track changes and all that too. Yep. Am I showing up or am I still the anonymous Brandon? Well, you are still the anonymous Brandon because you're probably commenting on a Facebook group. That's why that doesn't pop up. If you're watching on a page or on YouTube, It'll pop up as um, usually with your name, Brandon. So, um, as we head into Saturday, let's talk about like so. You guys do so much stuff going on. I feel like there's can koozie stuff. There's the 50 50 raffle. There's t shirts. What are all the things that you guys do to raise money besides just have the actual event, Mark? Well, we try to keep it more fun than just watching tractors go down the track. So, we do have a drawing um, with an advanced ticket. You get the drawing and the band for free. And we got like 40. I don't know, 48 prizes or something like that. Um, so that'll be going on during the day for those people that got an advanced ticket. 
the 50 50 is always a big one um yep. man i don't i think both drawings is we do two drawings and i think the lowest one for many years has been like 3300 all the way up to 4000 um so we'll do two of them again uh actually uh, uh we're gonna have a second and third place uh uh donation second third place prize this year too 250 for second 100 for third for consolation prizes thanks to mike and matt caster so you know you don't go to too many 50 50s to have a second third place prize. no 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 that's that's very cool, very and then, cool. I saw that. it's on your website right now i'll bring that up again so when it, this a long time ago and then i see my buddy don salama did it and i'm like hey you beat me to the punch but we're gonna we're gonna have a drawing for a for a, a pallet of bush light It'll be 78 30 pack so we're gonna have a drawing that day and the winner is gonna should have a year's full of beer but depends who it depends who wins it if it lasts a year or not Hawthorne. well half be, be real air grown by the time we're done <laughs> but the can koozie thing yeah um we all know we bring can koozies but if you go get a beer or whatever uh just know that you're your money this year that's going to go uh, we're, we're teaming up with the local kiwanis group and uh we're buying ipads for um uh for folks with uh kids or people with the uh, autism um for some type of learning um it's for learning so they have a mission and we're going to help them out do that so that's where the money for the can koozies are going to go this year nice um are advanced tickets done now mark or can people still get those no, they can still get them through Friday. Oh, actually, Friday morning. We're going to be pulling a lot of the businesses uh, probably Thursday night or early Friday morning. Um, they can go to our website. There is a list of places uh, around Green County that has them. If you're going to get them Friday, uh, you can go down to Fuzzy's Audio and Video in Monroe and Pops Tire in Monroe. Those two will be the last two places that we'll probably grab maybe late afternoon on Friday. Yeah. Or unless they run out, because we this year instead of making two thousand, we only did fifteen hundred. So okay. they run out, they run out. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So so some of the advanced ticket prizes again. I'm sh I'm on GreenCountyFallNationals.com. Any of you can go to that and check it out. But as Mark and I talk, I got this on the screen. So some of the advanced ticket prizes. So if you buy an advanced ticket, you get you get your um, you get your ticket in to win these fabulous prizes, and you get into the band for free. But they got um, a fifty-five inch LG TV donated by Fuzzy's Audio and Video. A $500 gift certificate from Monroe Furniture, $500 gift certificate from Pomp's Tire, um, 10 $200 cash prices, and all Jordan Egg Supply, R. Mueller Stainless, um, et cetera. So, I mean, if you're going to the poll, get your ticket, guys. They have a chance to win some awesome prizes. And that kind of, you know, keeps it entertained as, as well throughout the day. So, go to a tractor pull and win a TV. That's that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm not yeah. going to complain about that. So I just got to buy a ticket because you're not getting charged extra. It's 20 bucks at the gate or it's 20 bucks for the, the raffle. And the drawing and you get you get that and you're saving five bucks for the band so it's a pretty sweet deal with the ticket yep and again i like it because it's driving traffic into your sponsors mark that's well played um smart because your sponsors want to see because as a sponsor you know you and i both know sometimes you just give you just give to give uh, but if you can actually drive traffic back into somebody's store um when i'm announcing i'll always say hey when you hear us say these announce you know these sponsors you can spend money on them or if you know a manager or the owner please you know thank them when you see them for the sponsorship of this event because you know how how expensive it is to put on an event like this um it's not it's not cheap and you know we're bringing in the the best you know the best equipment around the midwest to put on a show for the fans and when you do the math on uh, 20 bucks to get into the green county fall nationals you're paying about three bucks an hour as i did the math on that and uh, that's that's pretty awesome as a as a polling fan to see that kind of um that high level for that for that purchase price. Your math come up because if you had the band in there, now you got twelve hours of entertainment. So that's less than two bucks an hour. Yep. See, you know, I forgot about the band mark because I usually I'm usually never sober that long enough to remember the full twelve hours. So a lot, of real, people yeah. a lot of people aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Again, if you're just joining us, uh, our new Monday night show down and dirty with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. Every Monday night, seven o'clock, talking all things Badger State Truck and Tractor Pullers. Of course, in the season, Mark Hawthorne is joining us. The promoter, him and his family and uh, team, have been putting on the Green County Fall Nationals for 16 years and impacting many, many families in the area, not just Green County. Um, somebody says, I was late. The Bills are playing. Who is that? <laughs> One of the admins on the page. So nobody cares about the Buffalo Bills in Wisconsin, I don't think. So. 
I think that's some sarcasm. I think that's some sarcasm. But if you have any questions for Mark, any comments for Mark, any any positive thoughts about the Green County Fall Nationals, please throw them in to the um, please throw them into the comments. Mark, how many years have the Green as have you guys won the uh, prestigious poll of the year? Has it been three times or four times or two times? I can't remember. I do believe it's eight. Eight. So okay. So I wasn't even close. So eight out of the sixteen years. Yep. Yep. That's something um, besides the awesomeness you do for the, you know, for the charities. That's something too, as a, because the pullers vote on that, Mark, you know that. Right. And, and that's something, Hey, my peers, my peers like coming to Monroe. They like this event. So that's a big shout out to you guys. Yeah, no, I, that, that always meant a lot. Right? You know, I was told Dirk and Greg, it's like, you know, just take your name off. And, you know, it's neat to see now the children's hospital pull, you know, doing that because that, that's big and you want these other polls to get that same thing because that's what's going to drive them to to get to that point and we got a lot that badger state polls so getting an award is pretty meaningful yeah it is. it's very very real that's very very real so you have to explain to me mr hawthorne what's going on in the track here with these gentlemen right here <laughs> well <laughs> i'm in the middle so you know even the promoter has to work but uh um this is what's called a month of hell. Um, the track, of course, that the fair, a lot of people know what happened down there. Uh, we got kind of handed everything over to us after that and go, here you go. And we had a mess. So I'm not going to get in the details of everything, but there was a lot of drying out and that was Sunday and they were calling for rain. on uh, that was actually on Saturday. They were calling for rain Saturday night. So our good friends at Jordan egg supply in Monroe, Gave us some tarp. Well, we weren't going to take a chance on a little sprinkle on that. So, you look like you're breathing hard in that picture, Hawthorne. I'm not going to lie. I went, Glenn Berge looked over me and says, What are we breathing hard for? I said, I think because we're old. <laughs> <laughs> so if you've never covered a track, I have, and I know what he's, and that's why I'm picking on him a little bit because I've been there as well. So, Bart, that went on Saturday night. It came off Sunday morning, went back on Sunday night. Came back off this morning, and uh, the bull we we laser leveled it today. And I tell you what, it I, it's really coming around. Um, we might not, we might even have to add water on Saturday. Who knows? Yep. No, it's all good. It is all good. I'm just flipping through some of the pictures right now, Mark, that are on the Green County Fall Nationals Facebook page. Um, I'll throw these in the comments too. If you haven't gone and liked the Green County Fall Nationals yet, just click on this link. That I just put in the comments, and you can rock it out from there and check it out. Um, crowd wise, Mark, what's an average crowd over the 16 years at the Green County Fall Nationals? A good average is about 4,200. Okay. Uh, biggest year, you remember which that was? If uh, it was right about <laughs> 52 or 5,300, Mark. Okay. Yeah, and the weather can. Um, it can either be 60 or it can be 90. I mean, you just never know September. You just never know September in uh in Wisconsin. So yeah. I think the forecast looks good. Like I, I think there's talking for mid 60s this Saturday. So that looks good. So look, see weather forecast tonight, and it, actually it snuck up to 70, 71, and and oh, even good. up to like 54, 55. So you know that probably can change in a few days. But by God, we'll we'll take that. Yeah. So we have a lot of people watching the show tonight. So please, if you have any questions for Mark Hawthorne. Uh, and the Green County Fall Nationals this Saturday. Uh, please ask us or any any thoughts, any questions, anything like that. Mark, anything you want to get out to the pullers or to the crowd about parking, about um, which gate to come into? I mean, an event at this magnitude has a lot of different things moving on. Like, what are like do the local police bring in more people because there's a big crowd? What are some of the things that you see as a promoter that you want to let everybody know? I'm glad he asked about the pullers parking because we always have a few that have not been there that always tries to come in that west gate. So don't follow the GPS. You need to shoot for the southeast side. Now we're going to have, um, no matter where you come in, you're going to see little yellow signs. It's going to say pullers or pit parking. Just follow those. Okay. If you do not see them, you happen to hit a wrong road, shoot for the southeast gate of the fairgrounds. And then there's a, actually, there's, it's a beverage mart. There's a liquor store there. You just go up one, if you go up that road by there, 
you hit the right road, it shoots you right straight in the pits. You don't have no turning or nothing. So shoot for that. If you have a question, call me and we'll, you know, we'll get you the, we'll get you what you need to know. Um, and it is residential. It feels residential guys. So trust the signs. I'm just going to tell you from experience. Yeah. So. Some of you guys are long haulers. You don't want to be tied up on some of those side streets. So, um, but yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, call, but uh, the easiest way is just come in on 1181. Take the last exit and no, take a right. There's the courthouse there. And you take another right, and then you take the first left, and you go up around by the school. There's a sign there that says take a left. You'll see the sign that says take a right, and you shoot right straight in. So it is really actually easy if you just take that last exit of Monroe on the east side. And Mark, the Monroe Police Department's very friendly because in 2019, I missed the turn and I backed up and I hit one of the signs at the school with my trailer, had no idea showed up on the video camera and they called me and I sent my check in and I, I paid $175 for them to, to replace the sign, uh, to put it back in the ground. It was just one of those like school signs. And I, I apologize. And anybody that's ever ridden in me at the semi knows I'm not the best backer upper, but I've improved since 2019 and they do have video. They do have cameras on the school. <laughs> that got to me. Otherwise I would have had a lot of fun on Facebook with that one, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I tried to keep that as secret as possible. And I feel the statute of limitations have wore out now. So, <laughs> because my trailer says "Beer Money Pulling Team" on it, so it was pretty easy to uh, to identify me. That's, so. that's true. Kind of hard to hide that. Yep, trying to hard to hide that. Oh wait, KP Moore says, uh, "How do I get advanced ticket?" I know we covered that earlier, Mark, but can you just kind of go through that again? Oh, uh, it's probably too late to send them in the mail. But if you go on the website, there's going to be a list of local businesses around Greene County to grab them. So anywhere from Belleville, New Glarus, around Monroe, Broadhead. Um, there, there's probably, uh, oh, there's Blanchardville over Corkdown has them. Um, so there's a list there that you can get them from. Yeah. KP Moore. I am, um, in the links right now in the comments that I just posted up here and I'll put it up here on the screen. Click on that link. That'll take you to the Green County Fall Nationals website. Scroll down to the gray area that says advanced tickets. And, um, it's got all the information that you need there to, um, to yep. do that. So, and Colin, he's probably just leaving the track. <laughs> yep. Um, but no, on uh, you know, you were asking about like what the pullers should know. We talk about it every year, and hopefully, a lot of everybody's watching here tonight. But, um, just because we say it, just, just please do it. Um, first of all, we ask the public pullers, whatever these people are working for free, donating their time. Um, just park where you're told, do what you're told. If anybody has a problem or everybody's angry, come find me, I'll, I'll take the I'll take that heat. Don't take it out on our gate people because they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Parking's doing what they're supposed to be doing. If you want to park next to your buddy, follow them in. We're not saving places. We don't have the room for that. Um, the uh, Even in public, just park where you're supposed to. Um, I guess it'd be nice. <laughs> um, the other thing is the local authorities, we have, a, we have rules in place of where we can have beer and where we can't. The pullers know what's going on there, but please don't go on back and forth from your trailers inside the fence. Um, security and the police have noticed big bags and purses going in. Mark, did we lose you? Mark kind of froze on us there for a second. Hopefully his internet comes back. Yeah. There um, you are, you're back. Oh, I, last thing I heard was big purses and big bags. Oh, okay. Like the last year, the local authority and, and, and the security was noticing some big bags and purses being brought in. And they they know what's going on. You know, we know there's beer and liquor in there. So just keep that at your trailers. There you go, guys. You mean the cops know what people are doing with big bags and big purses? Really? <laughs> Yeah, I mean they're not there to arrest anybody, but they're getting to the point that if you can't put a hand, can't get a handle on it, they're going to step in and there won't be any warnings. They're going to be asked to leave, and we don't want that. You know, no. the beer is cheap. Um, there again, the money's going to good causes, so you know, it's not a regular well, like cheese days down here last week, and that's six dollars a beer. You know, it's we're not we're not uh, we don't have high prices. So um, Kelly Sedgwick wants to know. Hold on a second. Uh, when do when do the gates open and what's the deal for entering the pits? 
Oh, good question. Thank you. Um, so on the north side of the grandstand, that's all free parking over there. Okay. To park in the pits, it is $10. Um, trying to keep the a lot of traffic out there, which fills up anyway. But $10 parking the pits, free parking anywhere else. Okay. Uh, what was the other part of that question? Uh, when do the gates open? Gates will open at about 8.30. Okay. Eight or eight thirty. Yeah, we try to have our crew over there at eight o'clock. Yep, that sounds good. That sounds good. Let's see. One thing I do want to tell the pullers, and we'll try to announce it that that day. Any of you class winners, please go to the announcer stand and grab your grab your winning stuff and make your speed. So, just go, we'll remind. We'll try to remind you again on Saturday. Yep. No, that's important. That is important. Remember to do that. Um, who's who's on the microphone this Saturday for you? The famous John Stranley and Stacy Butson. Nice. The the dam the dynamic duo. There you go. I like to call them that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we got that question answered. Mark, will there be grandstand and infield bleacher seating? Yes, there will be. Yep, you'll have uh, three hundred foot of seating on the infield, and of course your grandstand. So. Um, you know, get there, get there early. I'm going to stay on the infield, get there early. Cause I tell you what, that, that does kind of pack up pretty quick. If you got the party, the party's on the infield and your grandstands, your nice calm people. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's kind of like Bowling Green. There's the fun side and then the, the family side. How about yeah. That? Oh, there you go. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, somebody says a very well organized, large variety of classes. Nicest thing is the two sleds on site. For two reasons, while well, one class is running, getting sled ready for next class. So change between classes is quick. Other sled issues, still got one there. So, yeah, that is one cool thing you've done, Mark. I saw you guys start that. And I've actually seen a few other events have the sled ready to go. It's um Because we know that pulling's awesome for that 20 seconds when something goes down the track. Then it's kind of boring for a little bit, and then it's fun again. And you guys yeah. really try to keep that going as fast as you can, especially with the amount of iron you're trying to pound out during the day. Yeah. And with the drawing going on and the 50 50 and all that going on, you know, the announcers, boy, they got a full day, but you know, it just, it kind of keeps things going and, but nobody wants to sit there and watch the way the, the, the sled, uh, reweigh itself for 15 minutes either. Yep. No, agreed. 1 million percent. Uh, did we cover everything, Mr. Hawthorne? Have we answered everybody's questions? Let us know. I'm going to let Mark get going here a little bit. I know he's got a lot to do. We've taken up 37 minutes of his time so far. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's a great event if you've never been to monroe for the green county fall nationals need to check it out um you know the polars have been going there for a long time and they enjoy it like he's like mark said it's been voted eight times eight of the 16 years it's been voted voted pull of the year by the badger state tractor pullers and a lot of points championships are decided sometimes they're you know hey all i need to do is bump the sled but most of the time hey i gotta beat so and so by three or four places and like you said, it can get it can get scary. And I've seen I've seen the announcers up there, John and Stacy, with their pen and their paper trying to figure out if I finish here and he finishes here, uh, you can you can shake it up. So yeah. All uh, right. what sleds do you have, Mark? That's a question we got on the screen. What's that? What sleds are you going to have, sir? We're gonna have Johnny Peterson's and uh the mechanical mule which is sold now to you know guy the um, guy in janesville which i'm par sorry i don't have the, the names down yet but uh the old mechanical mule and johnny p that's tom van van Heusen's old sled right correct okay is it still called the mechanical mule i think so I, I honestly i haven't seen it okay no i haven't either this summer so i wasn't sure so that's always a good sled and old johnny's always fun to have around so oh yeah yeah you don't really need to like pulling. We know a lot of people that come down there that never been to a pull or they just stop in because they want cheese curds, they want a steak sandwich or, or whatever. So uh, get... John Stanley says Fritz Lukey Iron Anchor, and he would know what's going on. So Okay, there we go. So I, I guess actually if we want comments, Mark, what we do is we say who owns a sled now, because all of a sudden now everybody's everybody's comment now. So. Well, they've already asked two questions I would have forgot to say tonight. So with the parking and stuff like that, so this is great. No, I, it's fun because um, you get into your, you know, your mode, Hawthorne, and then there's other things that pop up as well. So, yeah, we get lots of, um, oh, here's a good one. Is the little green giant going down the track? We can back done. 
under all our powers, I would probably say yes, because it's, uh, you know, I, I know people get sick of probably hearing it about Larry how many years, but this will be 61 years with his butt in one of our tractor seats. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do there. That's awesome. That's, My, that's a great question, Terry. Thank you for asking that. So <laughs> some things might look a little fire burnt yet, but that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. Yep. Well, totally, totally understand. Totally, totally understand. All right, Mark, let's do the, let's do the wrap up. Let's cover the whole event again. Start times, classes. I'll help you out. I got it. You got a poster in front of you. I got a poster in front of me. Um, noon this Saturday, 20 bucks to get in. If you want to buy a ticket ahead of time, jump on the website and there's a bunch of stuff listed. Like Mark said, they're going to run around and grab most of the tickets Thursday night. Uh, so if you can buy your advance ticket before Friday, that would be smart of you. There's really no time to still mail them out. So you're going to need to go to some of the local sponsors and pick those up. Again, that's listed on the website. Classes. And they, right now, this is the pulling order. Again, like I said, do not pin Hawthorne to the cross. If they move a class around, it'll be okay. But 540 light pros are first, followed by 36 pro stock diesel trucks, then the 4.1 limited pros, then the two-wheel drive mods. Class 5 is 466 hot farm. Class 6 is light limited super socks with the possible little green giant spotting. Seven is pro stocks, eight is super farm, and the ninth class of the day will be 640 pro farms. The band starts at eight o'clock, no matter what. And like Mark said last year, the polling got done around 620 and um, the band still started at eight o'clock. So like you said, there's plenty of things to do there. You can walk through the pits and see all the pullers and talk to them. And it's a great way to end the Badger State year, Mark. Yeah, looking forward to it. And we got a lot of people stay overnight down there. So like you said, if you want to walk through afterwards, the uh... There's going to be a lot of a lot of pullers there at the tailgate down. They'd be love to talk to you. Yep. And the seventh comment, the mechanical mule is now called the iron anchor. Thank you. That has been the most commented thing on here tonight. So. Well, we got that solved. We got that solved. If we did anything, now everybody knows that the old iron, the mechanical mule is the iron anchor. No, we're just picking on you. We appreciate the comments. Yeah, That's right. what makes the show fun. Um, Mark, did we cover it all? I mean, did we get everything we wanted to do? Did you thank everybody you wanted to thank? I know it's 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 hard to it's hard to focus this week, and then when you do a show like this, you go, "Oh crap! I should have said this. I should have said this. I should have said that." So I want to give you your chance. So and we can go through and thank this person. This there's you know it, we're not going to do it. All I can to say is everybody, we got 165 sponsors. We thank every single one of them. Our 15 year main sponsor, Washington Implement, the Case I H Junior Marcello, hey, our team, the pullers, the fans, the vendors, the gate workers everybody you know so there's not one person that does not make this show go or any badger state show go because it takes everybody so um and i and i want to second the um the the the, the volunteer thing volunteers are told what they do or they're told what to do and they don't know they don't know if you're a big deal or not or like oh i get this or i know hawthorne they don't care in richland center i actually had a kid once come up to the gate and say Jason Schultz said, I get in free. And I said, do you know Jason Schultz? Oh, yeah, he's a good friend of mine. I said, do you know what Jason Schultz looks like? And they said, uh-oh. And I showed him my license, and I charged them all double to get in. Because uh, I, I had heard for years that you don't ever want to work the gate. That's the worst part for a volunteer. That's where people are just uh, just not, not nice. And uh, you guys, this is a charity. This is for fun. Yeah, we're all hyped up. We want to get in there. We want to park by our buddy, or we we want this, or Hawthorne said this, or five years ago. Just do what you're told. And uh, if it's that serious, go find Hawthorne after the poll and say, "Hey, Mark, you know your guys charged me 100 bucks to do this or whatever." And then Mark's gonna, you guys are gonna work it out. Do not, get your, do not get your undies in a wad or your panties in a bunch or whatever. I've been there. I have personally got my panties in a bunch, not at your poll, but just. I've been through it. I've seen it, you guys. Um, and you can't you can't make a list of every possible rule that you need. It's just impossible. Because I used to do it. We would type up that so and so gets in, and so and we'd always I'd always make somebody mad, or the sound guy gets in free, and then no, 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 I was told to charge everybody, and yep. I just it just it takes the fun out of it, Mark. And I, I like to share personal experiences with people because a lot of people watch the show, and they might it might just change somebody's mind a little bit on next time they're gonna blow up on some boy scout leader because he just he said hey listen you're not on the list i'm sorry to me so. it's you know you don't take it out on the gay people they come lie to me and go hey i had to pay 20 bucks again oh you're um greg elsing 
come here. Sorry. Hey, but they did what you did. You didn't give them hell. Here's your money back. You know, that's, yeah. it, you know, we can all take care of this in a pretty simple fashion. Cody Lannard says he's going to donate $10,000 to have a four wheel drive gas class at the end. That's what he just said right on the screen there. Oh, I might've yeah. threw the extra 10 grand in there, Cody, but. Uh, huh. Oh, well, 10 grand, I guess. Well, you know, we can maybe work it out for 10 grand. <laughs> Uh, Kelly Sedgwick says, what will there be for food vendors? Food vendors, uh, pretty good array. Um, we're going to have our homemade cheese curds and mushrooms, of course. Uh, pretty popular thing. Um, Lions Club will have their pork sandwiches and brats. Kiwanis is going to have the cheeseburgers, burgers, brats, steak sandwiches. We'll have kettle corn guy there. Um, I, I love I, that every town it's the kettle corn guy. Doesn't matter where you go, Hawthorne, it's hey, it's a kettle corn guy. I just love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he goes through a bunch of it, but uh, yeah, so Stranley it, says, um, best damn mushrooms in the in the country. Stranley says, hey, and all food vendors always take free food to the announcer stand. That's well, that's good marketing on your part. Good marketing on your part. So. I've heard that, yeah, I've, yep. I've heard. Because uh, you know you might you might talk about them a little bit, Hawthorne. I mean, we can be bribed as us announcers, fellers. So it's all good. Well, it's bad enough up there if you ask them. And the beer the beer people take take care of them pretty good too. So yeah, they they've been told. Uh, yeah, you make sure to give them a little taste test up there. Well, Stranley Stranley's kind of getting to be a big deal now, kind of like a rock you know like a rock concert. You know, he probably has a list of things he needs like grapes and chocolates and things like that. Don't you think, Hawthorne? He's high maintenance. It is isn't doubt. Yeah. What's best is John's not on the show tonight, so I can really hammer him. And then exactly. uh, <laughs> our, our phones are going to blow up later with text messages, though. Yep, that's fine. And I can ignore every single one of those. I love it. So, um, yeah, don't start name dropping me. It's not going to get you very far, Brad, especially in South Carolina. <laughs> Jim Haverly says, Thank God for the kettle corn guy. I have strict <laughs> orders to bring some home after the polls. Laugh out loud. So, <laughs> Logan yeah. Hawk, checking in the track with it i'm like well we know what they're gonna go what they went over there for one purpose so the yeah. kettle corn is on just the north side the grandstand side so apologize they don't have a lot of workforce but if you want kettle corn you got to go behind the grandstand to get it well they usually they usually walk around and sell it don't they mark i feel like they do do they well maybe they do you know so i've seen a lot of kettle corn guys so maybe it's not the same kettle corn guy hopper i don't know we'll see but Well, good deal. Mark, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for watching everybody tonight. Uh, again, if you can, head to Monroe, Wisconsin this Saturday for the Green County Fall Nationals. Starts at noon. Uh, Mark, I'm going to let you sign off. Okay. Thanks for having me, guys, and hope to see you all on Saturday. Thanks, Mark. Have a great week. Yeah, you too. Take care. Mark Hawthorne, everybody, with the Green County Fall Nationals. The promoters, again, this Saturday, September 24th. Um, I'm going to flip up on the website one more time. Thanks for watching tonight. We have about 100 people watching at all times. That's great. You know, Brad says, great. Now I want kettle corn. Um, let's Grow Polling Live starts in about 11 minutes. Tonight we have, um, let's see, Kyle Matcham, Dragway 42, uh, is going on in Ohio this Saturday. And we also have Brent Roberts. Uh, they have a poll going on in Bedford, Iowa. Those are our two guests on Let's Grow Polling. That'll start again at 8 o'clock. So I'll end this broadcast and start a new one here in a little bit. But again, uh, Green County Fall Nationals, you guys, you, you, Iowegians, Northern Iowa, uh, Minnesota, anybody four or five hours within Monroe, it's worth the drive. Uh, Monroe's a big enough town. It's close enough to Madison, too, if you need to get a hotel room or something like that. Um, again, polling starts at noon. It's a great way to spend a day, bring the whole family. And uh, if you want to bring your buddies, you want to hoop it up a little bit, the band is always a lot of fun afterwards as well. So um, thanks for watching episode two of Down and Dirty with Badger State Tractor Pullers. We will be here every Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Our normal host will be myself, um, John Stranley, and Greg Elsing when Greg can make it on. But John and I will do our best to be on here every single Monday night with you and uh, entertain you and talk about Badger State Tractor Pullers. You know, as we head into the off season, if you watch our Tuesday night show, Outlawed Live, you know, we talked, we, we'd like to get a lot of pullers on there, a lot of sponsors on there, but really show you the pullers and talk to them and interview them. Uh, so you can ask them questions and stuff like that. So thanks for watching. Have a great night. Go Packers. And um, I don't care about the Buffalo Bills. Somebody commented about them earlier. So that's so good. And, and the most important thing now is the old mechanical mule sled is now the iron anchor. So thanks for watching. See you next Monday. Have a good night.